Hello! Today I'm going to talk to you about the Heritage Products Castor Oil. This is one of my favorite products in the whole wide world. So castor oil has so many health benefits. It's made by extracting oil from castor beans. And I had never heard of castor beans before I heard of castor oil. So this was really exciting. It has so many uses. I personally use it on my skin. There's something called oil cleansing. I had terrible acne before and I tried all these creams and lotions and vitamins and different things but oil cleansing was the only thing that really helped me and that's where you actually put like pure oil on your face or wherever you know your acne problem is. But it has a lot of different purposes. It also works on your hair. It helps with hair growth. So if you put some on your eyelashes at night, it's been known to help grow your eyelashes longer. As well as a hair mask overnight, I use it sometimes to kind of rejuvenate my hair and then I rinse it out in the morning. You can also take it and consume it, you know, internally. It's really good for helping with digestion. And it has all sorts of just pharmaceutical uses, nutritional uses, and it's just a very like amazing multi-purposeful product all around. So for moisturizing, it has really hydrating properties. Um, and even though it's an oil, some people don't understand that. Like coconut oil is so great mixed with this because it just makes it even better. The warning that I have to give you is that it can induce labor. So if you're pregnant, I would ask your doctor about this before you know doing anything about it. But other than that, this has just been known to help so many people. And it's a very versatile product, which I really like. It is pure cold pressed castor oil, and it's very high quality. And when I say cold pressed, there's so many like different ways castor oil is, you know, consumed. But I love the cold pressed castor oil the most. It's especially good if you want to make health packs. And by that, it's basically you put it on your skin and a lot of the time people put that like a washcloth over it at night and it helps detox and you know, that's a whole different way of using it. And I don't usually use that one, but sometimes it's nice when I want to kind of detox and get rid of the toxins in my body. Now the consistency itself, I'm going to show you actually on this table. It's very thick. It's kind of like maple syrup when you think about it. And so people are really caught off guard. You have to use very little, but as you can see it's very sticky and it's very oily at the same time. So it's one of those oils that becomes very sticky when you put it on your skin and you definitely need to wash it off with a warm washcloth. It's kind of a yellowish color here and it's often like when you're oil cleansing you mix it with other oils like essential oils or olive oil or coconut oil even avocado oil. Those are just some examples of oils you can mix it with and that really helps kind of liquefy the consistency and make it less sticky and also those oils have really great cleansing properties as well and most people find it kind of backwards to cleanse with oil because they think it's going to make their skin even oilier but that's actually a myth and I'm not going to get into the whole science of that but let's just say this works really really well. My skin is proof that that's a fact. I also like to use it as makeup remover. A lot of the time, oils can be really helpful when it comes to removing your makeup and it's also replenishing to your skin at the end of the day. Never go to bed with makeup on, it's really bad for your skin. 
and it causes a lot of acne and kind of defeats the purpose of cleansing your face in the first place. But if you use castor oil to take off your makeup, it kind of has a double purpose. It takes off your makeup and it replenishes your skin. So I really like that. And I'll often use it overnight, whether it's on my hair or my skin. It really nourishes it and I just like that kind of property. So I bought it about six months ago. I ordered it online and it doesn't smell bad or anything. It smells like oil to be honest and it's not something that would carry over. There are a lot of myths about castor oil but I really encourage you to explore the health properties. Helps with weight loss as well. And you know, castor oil has been used for centuries. The ingredients are basically what it is, pure castor oil, and that's it. It's cold pressed, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this, ricinus communis, it's basically castor oil. That's the kind of bean that it's from. So it is eight ounces, you can get these in a lot of different sizes, but I like this one. It's not too small, but as you can see here, I haven't used it all up and I do use it on a regular basis, like every day. So you don't really need a lot, like I said. And what's nice is your skin doesn't stay oily when you put it on. It dries up very quickly and just kind of blends into your skin. So a lot of people think, oh no, it's just gonna stay on my skin oily. But it actually just kind of, it sinks into your skin and then it's not oily anymore. So you can just wear it throughout the day. Make sure you use a warm like washcloth, but one that is soft for your face when you wash it off because you don't want to cause any friction or, you know, that's not really beneficial to what you're trying to do. And it can fit in a suitcase and yes, I have. I have put mine in one many times when I'm traveling around. Um, it's definitely a little bulkier, but another thing I like to do is I'll buy a really small little bottle like at the dollar store or anywhere. You can, you can get it anywhere. And uh, like a travel size bottle and I'll carry it with me. So I have a lot of them and sometimes I get to mix different oils in those bottles. So this just really comes in handy. For me, for my story, I found out about this. I have a friend who is a health guru. She is a wellness coach and she told me all about castor oil. I was telling her about all my difficulties with my makeup and my acne and she recommended this and I have thanked her every day since. No joke. So it comes in this hard, clear plastic bottle and a lot of people don't realize this, but it is eco-friendly. Plastic is questionable in my opinion, but it's just such a practical container. And it was not tested on any animals, cruelty free. It's organic, the magical word. And it has no fillers, no pesticides, no pesticide residues. It's good quality oil. And it was made by a company called Heritage. And the Heritage store was founded about over 41 years ago. And they really focus on wellness products. And they have a lot of different versions, different sizes of castor oil and other types of cool wellness products. So you should really definitely check those out. But yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.